Hey guys, this is JT with SpeedStuff.com. Just wanted to go over a couple things about some lipo checkers that I've learned and uh, the different ones that I've purchased. I got myself a set of turn energy batteries here from a 700. I had picked up from Hobby King the regular cheapy little lipo checker. It's like four bucks. It's a little electronic, nothing else. You have to wait for it to get here from China. And I also picked up the Hyperion EOS Century. Got this one from ATSRC on eBay, and it was uh, 29 bucks and free shipping. Uh, both of them, you plug them into your, your LiPo battery, they tell you the what the cells are. Uh, this one, you can see it's got six cells, it'll tell you the voltage of each cell and then the total of all of them. The Hyperion does the, the same type thing, uh, but it does a little bit more, which I like. What it'll do, hang on a second. What it'll do right off the bat is it gives you a, a little a bar that goes up, gives you an idea what the percentage of the battery is left on it. This one's at 97%, shows at 25.04 volts. Detected as a LiPo battery. If it was incorrect, we could change it to a couple other ones. Um, but what I like about it is that you can go and do this mode here, and it'll tell you the difference between the highest charge cell and the lowest charge cell in the pack, which is really cool. So in this one, we have a... Uh, 2700ths of a volt difference between cell 2 is blinking and cell 5 is blinking. Um, thought that was pretty cool. This one also goes and shows you what the highest voltage of any of the cells is, so you're at 4194, and then it'll show you what the lowest voltage cell is, which is 4167 in this particular six cell pack. Uh, total voltage of 25.04. You can also scroll through and it'll show you the, the particular voltages, much like the, uh, the Hobby King version. But I gotta tell you, um, if you're gonna spend five bucks, and then obviously you're gonna buy other stuff, but and then wait for it versus thirty bucks, and the thing just gets here in a couple days. Much better product. You can't even compare the two. Something you should definitely have in your uh, pack when you're out there at the field. Anyway, that's it. Wanted to show you both of them. Again, thanks for watching the video. It's been Jason from SpeedStuff.com.